Uh, Hello everyone. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to uh, scale the time history record for your analysis. So in case you want to uh, perform uh, multiple uh, time history analysis, then you need to, to scale them. Or even in some specific research part, you need to consider 30%, 50%, or even 75, 100%, or one and uh, even 150 percent of the existing anatomic event so for this case you need to consider some scaling but directly in the software which you conduct your analysis maybe it's not possible but the only uh, software that can provide you very efficient uh, and productive way is sysmo signal so in case we have uh, we i want to go to create first uh, uh, let's uh, create the Kubi earthquake record and this is the Kubi earthquake record we can use this uh, setting which is uh, here okay and this is the time history uh, the acceleration and this is the velocity now uh, what I want to do is I want to scale uh, this one by 50% uh, and 75% uh, and then uh, after that I want to create the same uh, <coughs> like previous tutorial the response spectrum and the data for analysis I want to export this data to uh, Excel sheet and perform some <coughs> interpretation giving some uh, analysis uh, you can do it this in a in a in an early stage, in the early stage when you open this, uh, you can uh, create uh, again the Kubi earthquake. In this area here, now we have one, and this time I want to consider that 50%. So, which is uh, it will take the 50% of the available. So, now let's suppose it's the maximum acceleration is 0 0.35, that should be. 7, 1, 0 0.17 I'm going to OK now it created let's see exactly the same so what you want to do is you can select come here uh, select all and going to copy selection and come to your Excel sheet Excel sheet and you can create paste here and then Again, create call uh, insert, give one. This is the acceleration curve. This is the acceleration curve. Then we can add some uh, margin and also some uh, axis. Uh, then so this is the I can say this is uh, 0 0.5 and uh, go to again back and open uh, QB and this time I want to consider one person a 100 person so again select all copy and come into this side here paste Again, select this uh, the data, and here I can call it uh, Kubi. Uh, the Kubi is 50%, 50% earthquake. And now you can uh, you can say Kubi, and this is 100%. Uh, go to uh, X this is the X and we go to the again to the wider Y data and here is okay and now you can now you can see uh, changing the colors adding some uh, First, let me fix the x y and this should be maximum 40 second and 
next is I want to uh, create label and this is bring to the law here and adding some uh, uh, some uh, artist title um, X Y so now I can call this one uh, called time and using S for second and uh, here is I can called X as a G and as well I can uh, go to change some uh, uh, list first change the color of this one and make it a little uh, larger now uh, we can add the legend uh, yeah now you can see it's showing uh, that could be 50% and could be 100% and also we can uh, change the uh, lines this is the 50% line and I can go to here in the coloring and this is uh, going to be black black and the second one is uh, the blue one uh, because it's inside I cannot catch it um, maybe I can go to turn off I can go to uh, in the select data and I for a while I can uh, turn off and then change the color of this to, to uh, red and uh, the size of the thickness of the line should be larger now I can go back again and turn on it so this is the uh, so this is the curve which we provided uh, which is using scaling now you can consider the same uh, as much as you want like this you can provide a different uh, scaling uh, of uh, an existing time history is required uh, in case if you want each uh, part should create uh, the response spectrum as well you can use this is 100 like we uh, used in the previous one you also can bring the 50 percent 75 percent as well and also considering the damping uh, every damping is two three damping and like three percent like two percent and zero percent now we can create the response and then also we can go to here and they give us the data the same you can select all and uh, copy the selection and export your excel and then you can interpret and you can create the graph for your report so this is the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.